Hey everybody, welcome to the show. JB here. It's another day where I'm answering some questions. As you know, I do videos almost every single day. Uh, try to give you the answers to the questions that you're looking for. And today's question, uh, both of them happen to be with the Remarkable, and I'm going to try to answer them real quick and fast uh, so that you will understand exactly what we are working on. So the first question is this. Daniel asks, can you do a video about marking up PDFs with the Remarkable? That is the main thing I would buy it for. Okay, so let's talk about that. Let's go on the computer. The first thing we would need to do is uh, we're gonna get a uh, PDF. So I have one here on the desktop. It is a PDF. And what I'm gonna do then is I'm going to bring it into the Remarkable, okay? So now as it is in here in the Markable, Remarkable, uh, one of the things we are going to do then is sync the library. So we're gonna come over to the Remarkable down here in this corner. And we're going to try to sync the library to make sure the library will sync. Make sure it's uh, on Wi-Fi. It is connected. Go back to the device. Okay, we're going to close that. And we are now going to look uh, for the PDF. And there it is. It sank pretty quick. It was automatic. I didn't even need to press anything. So here it is. This happens to be a three-page three PDF. I'll just go through it. And it, it, it says we need a signature. So I'm just going to put a signature on there. Now, I do have a question about palm rejection. Is there palm rejection on the, the, um, the device? Yes, I have never had a problem with the palm, as we, you can see this, okay? So I wanted to answer that question too. That, actually, that question actually came from uh, Carrie Ann, asked that, do you have problems with palm rejection? So no, you can see I just, just did it and there's no issues there. Okay, so again, now we're done with the document. I'm gonna close the document. I mean, the scribbles are pretty bad. Let's, let's make it more realistic here. Let's go ahead and click eraser. Let's erase all. And let's just put a John Hancock in here. Okay, so we got a John Hancock in there. So now we're done. I'm gonna go ahead and close the device. Okay, so we're closed. There's a little cloud down here. I don't know if you can see that very good. But that cloud, we're waiting for it to go ahead and update on the website. So we close it, the document, and we're waiting for it to sync. Now, what I'm doing then is on the computer, as I wait for it to sync, is, is uh, opening it up and seeing if it's, it's already done. And it's not yet. So I'm going to close the document. I'm going to look here. The sync should have happened. Let's take a look here. Let's just make a look, take a look. Okay, close that there. Okay, and then let's go into the document. And there it is. It's actually done. So it does all this on its own, but sometimes you've got to wait a minute and just give it a second to work, okay? So marking up PDFs is great. You can mark up any PDFs, and I'll go back on the computer here, and basically, you know, what you do then is work on the device and bring them back in here. And then if you want to print this document, then obviously uh, you would open it up as a PDF, and then you can print the document. You can actually bring it back onto your, uh, um, onto your computer. Um, you can move it into a folder, right? And you can move it to where you want. Or since it's on your desktop, um, obviously you can, you can work with it here and then um, you can print it, which is, which is pretty cool, right? So the document then you export as PDF. I'll just show you how that works since we're doing this. Export as PDF. We're gonna export it to desktop rule three print version i'm going to go ahead and put it right there okay it's finished exporting let me look on my desktop yep there it is okay so we're going to close the remarkable we're going to open it up and there it is signed ready to print okay and that opened up on the other side so the way this works then is that the pdfs work really great and you can bring them back and forth and read and work with them and use the marker. I will do another question. I got a couple questions on the marker that I use, so I'll do another video on that. But today I specifically wanted to show you just a very basic way you could do a PDF. You know, you put it on your desktop, bring it into the, the application on the computer. The computer syncs with the cloud and then it goes into the device, do your work on it. It'll sync back up with the, with the uh, remarkable software, their own proprietary software, and then you export it as a PDF and you can do whatever you want with it. So it's a really seamless system. And if you organize your notes, as I've talked about in some of my videos, it really works for working with PDFs. I personally can't wait for the Remarkable 2 because I'm not a big fan of the form factor of uh, this device. I think the, 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 um, it's okay. I took it out of the case for the first time, 
But I think the Remarkable 2 is going to be a really great di device as far as the hardware goes. And people have been asking me, you know, what, well, why are you talking about the Remarkable 2 so much? Because as far as I understand, the software is going to be exactly the same. So if you watch these videos, the software is going to work the same way. I mean, why would they make a change? It's actually working pretty good, right? But the hardware should be thinner, lighter, faster, and better. And then I'm going to use it for reading and notes so you can kind of understand how that works. Okay, so thanks for watching. As always, if you got any questions, hey, please leave them below. If you like what I'm doing, push like on the video and, and comments. I love to hear from you. And if you want to subscribe, that's great. I should have my Remarkable 2 in the next couple of weeks. And I'll be doing, obviously, a full review on that. And then we do a lot of fun stuff on this show. I'm almost here every single day. So thanks so much for participating. Thanks for being a part of it. And hopefully this helped you today. And I will keep bringing you some more answers to these questions. Go have a great one. Thank you.